Good day, students. My name is Fanny Yi Sunday Olateju, your literature and English teacher. Our topic for today's literature lesson is the analysis of African poem titled The Panic of Growing Holder by Le Repeater. Lesson Objectives At the end of the lesson, students should be able to interpret the poem, analyze the poem in terms of poetic devices, discuss the themes of the poem, and explain the events in the poem. Summary of the poem. The title of the poem, The Panic of Growing Older, puts the reader in the mind frame of or presupposition of worrisomeness of mankind when the fear and anxiety of older age creeps into the mind in the stanza one. The persona states that fear envelopes the growing person from every direction of life. People are anxious and worried about what their lives will look like when age tells on them. The second stanza marks the beginning of chronological explanation of human life circle. At the age of 20, which is associated with period of exper ex experimentation and exploration, it is the age of youthful exuberance in which one has great dreams and aspiration and with the desire to conquer the world with gigantic sources. Instance 3. At the age of 30 upwards, the effect of old age is felt in, beginning of quotation, a sudden throb of pain, end of quotation, lines 10 to 11. The pain is caused by the fact that the water content of tendons, the cord-like tissues that attach muscle to bones, decrease as we age. All the laboratory tests conducted to find the cause of pain prove abortive because the effect of old age has set in. Instance 4. Unlike the youthful age of 20, that we could use our legs to run, jump, dance, move, etc., at the age of 30, and a little after beginning of quotation, leg, legs scribbled in domesticity allowed, end of quotation. The implication is that no more gallivanting and no beginning of quotation, sudden leaves at the moon now, end of quotation. One is no more expected to engage in the excitable games of teenagers again because the aging legs have been affected by, by diseases associated with old age. Instance 5. Life has turned into a copy book bisected with red ink. In other words, life is like a sheet of paper divided into two columns. One side is filled with outstanding achievements and the other side is filled with abysmal failures. The person pointed out that the victim that is a failure with nothing to show the world what the victim demonstrates is three children expected of him whose procreation requires no specialist effort to achieve. Stanza 6 makes us believe that although science leaves man with the hope that the 
normal 70 years that God promised woman being may be double. It is only a mere hope and no more. We will pause here briefly. When we come back, we we'll continue with the continuation of the summary. Student, welcome to the second segment, which is continuation of poem summary. Stanza 7 reveals the last stage of a person's existence. Because of the consequences of aging, like loss of bone tissue, inactive human has to propel large quantities of blood quickly, shrinking muscles, slow rate of body metabolic and loss of certain sensory sensations the inner satisfaction or hope of living a healthy life when one is old is gradually eroded and faded away student another item is themes of the poem one impact of old age it is the impact of old age that causes the panic, fear, and anxiety of growing older. According to the poet, at the age of 20, man is full of hope and aspiration because of his ability, vigor, energy, and vitality. But the consequences of the old age start to manifest at the age of 30 upwards beginning of quotation a sudden trope of pain end of quotation lines 10 to 11 is that the aged man experiences pain because his connective tissues gradually lose their flexibility the laboratory tests are nothing because the effect of aging defy any medical or biological tests. Even leg cripples, line 13, is a clear indication of cartilage degeneration. Two, word expectations. Man is expected to give birth to three children conveniently without complications that will require specialist effort. Also, the scientists fix the lifespan of man to be 130 years, beginning of quotation. But science give hopes of twice three score and 10. Three. Another theme is human life circle. We are born, move about, clothed in our various ambitions. At 20, the youth has virtually all time in the world, hopes and energies at his disposal. But at 30, he gets married and responsibility cage in like shackles on his legs, which result in no time for exploration. Our share of age is 70, although signed promises, beginning of quotation, twice three scores and ten, end of quotation. But this is only a promise, nothing to hold on to as it has not yet materialized. Four, another theme is pessimism. The aging process and its attendant problems and challenges compared to the younger phase of life constitute the pessimistic attitude of persona. However, the vital points here are the visible promises of an active life cannot be fulfilled. The short-lived dream world of the 20s. The divine lowering of expectation in 30s 
as family responsibilities creep in and telltale sign of illness manifest. The reality of failure which is not compensated for by children won races. And the loss of self-worth and resignation to the inevitable end of the aging process, which is there, are factors of pessimism in this poem. Students, we will pause here briefly. Students, welcome to the third segment, which is poetic devices. One, language. Although the poet uses simple language, but the choice of words is pregnant with meanings. For example, flutter means to move along rapidly and lightly. Gigantic means so exceedingly large. The meaning of copy book is a series of instructions or data copied into multiple programs from a shared library. Another device is antithesis. The poet demonstrates the contrast between usefulness and old age, between hope and despair, between optimism and pessimism between physical strength and weakness. The youthful age that is marked to be 20 is compared to age of decline, starting from the age of 30 and after. Another device is metaphor. There are many examples, but prominent ones are in stanza one, where the fear of growing old is metaphorically increasing yearly, like fluttering wings. In the last answer, the inner satisfaction or hope declines, like beginning of quotation, sharp blaze of expectation. End of quotation. Another device is repetition. Line 12 and 20 are repeated as in beginning of quotation. I have nothing to show the word. End of quotation. All laboratory tests, medical researches, and biological tests cannot solve the problem of aging because it is very natural to grow old. All the tests and researches, beginning of quotation, have nothing to show the word, end of quotation. Five, another device is imagery. The effect of aging is the loss of certain sensory sensations and inability to walk or move about as one lies. The imagery of inactivity is depicted in stanza 4, beginning of quotation. No sudden leaves at the moon now, end of quotation. Also, the strength of the youth is portrayed in beginning of quotation, hope of gigantic Sources. End of quotation. Another device is alliteration. Alliteration plays a prominent role in this poem, and the examples are line four, where why is repeated in year to year, and lines nine to ten, where dental sand is repeated in thirty and true, likely examination questions. One, how does the language contribute to the meaning 
of the poem, The Panic of Growing Older. Two, examine the impact of old age in the poem, Panic of Growing Older. Bibliography. Fanny E.S.O. 2014. Exam Reflection. Literature in English. 12 poems. 2. Check www.lasso-info.com for the poem Panic of Growing Older by Larry Peter. Goodbye and God bless.